Hi everyone, welcome back. So I just did a video on what I brought to Scotland with me and now I'm gonna share with you guys what I brought with me that I regret bringing with me. So I'm gonna start off small. The first thing is my Quip, uh, it's a flosser. It's a travel flosser, I love it dearly. It was awesome, I didn't use it. I thought, okay, I'll go, I'll keep with my routine, but we were t so tired at the end of every day that I just didn't end up doing it part of my routine. So I do regret bringing because it, it did take up some space in my toiletry bag, but at the end of the day, it was just a little bit of space and I made it work. So the next thing that I regret bringing, what we did use is my mini backpack. We did put like snacks and the camera in it when we were there and it was really nice to use but I just didn't use it enough to like kind of justify bringing it. It is a nice addition so when we go out to so just throw everything in there because it's pretty big on the inside to like, for everything so I just wish we used it more. I used my Lululemon bag a lot more than I did this backpack so it kind of took up a little more space than I wanted it to. But that's okay. So the third thing that I brought that I regret bringing is actually my tripod. I'm using it currently for my camera, but I didn't use it once. I was like, oh, I could set it up out in the distance and take some really nice videos while I was out there. Never ended up doing that. It wasn't really worth it. It did take up a little bit of space in my suitcase, but I worked it in there to begin with. I kind of told myself, okay, tripod or bring another pair of shoes. And I did say in my last video that I regret not bringing my running shoes because I ended up buying some, but they were $12, 12 American dollars, so I'm not really complaining. I thought I had good intentions, but that's okay, so. And then the fourth thing that I regret bringing with me to Scotland is a keyboard. So I brought my iPad with me, I was going to do some work on it, so I bought a Bluetooth keyboard that I could just set up and use for my iPad. Never used it, not once. I didn't really like the setup of it, and so when we got home, I just returned it to Amazon, which was really nice, but I was really hoping that it would work out, and in the end it didn't, and that's okay. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video about what I regret bringing to Scotland with me.